Welcome to another episode of Bollywood Post, where we bring you the latest gossip in Bollywood. I'm your host, Kavitha Shah, and let's check out what's going on in Bollywood this week. Any loss of life is a tragedy, but Bollywood recently lost one of its most versatile actors. And of course, Bollywood's greatest all showed up to pay their respects. Om Puri, an actor who played a variety of roles through his career, died suddenly of a heart attack. Close friends and family were devastated, and the Bachchans, among other Bollywood stars, showed up to pay their respects. Mr. Puri's career was one to be extremely proud of, and we will always remember him through his many accomplishments. May he rest in peace. Garan Johar is normally very poised and composed, but something brought him to tears recently. The culprit for this emotional outpour was the touching performance of a young star that Garan found sad and cathartic, but magical in many moments. The performance that moved the director to tears was that of Dev Patel in the film Lion. It is a story of a lost Indian boy who is adopted and then searches for his mother. The performance is powerful and the film premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival last year. But the rest of us have to wait as the film is set to release to all audiences on February 24th of this year. The Golden Globes have been spicing things up by incorporating some of our favorite Bollywood beauties. And among these were two of our favorites, Priyanka Chopra and Deepika Padukone, and they both looked absolutely stunning. Both beauties successfully donned the designs of Ralph Lauren at the awards show. Deepika looked like a ray of sunshine in her yellow floor-length gown, and Priyanka glittered like gold in her low-neck gold gown. The two looked gorgeous, and Priyanka also had the honor of presenting an award. Way to represent Bollywood, ladies. Sexuality is not openly discussed in Indian culture, and Bollywood is no different. However, one Bollywood icon that has been constantly questioned regarding his sexual orientation speaks out on the matter. Karan Johar is coming out with his own autobiography titled The Unsuitable Boy, and in response to the many whispers related to his sexual orientation, he says it's none of anyone's business. So he neither confirms nor denies anything, but makes it clear that whatever his orientation, it doesn't make a difference. And with his proven success, most will tend to agree. Amir Khan's film Dangal has seen lots of hype, and after three weeks in the box offices, it's on its way to reach new heights. Everyone knows Amir to be a perfectionist, and now he has solid ground for bragging rights. His latest film, Dungle, is blowing out box office records and is on its way to becoming the first to reach the 350 crore mark. If you haven't seen it yet, go out and watch this film that's making history in many ways. When you have even big aspirations of stardom, you should always watch what you say in the public eye. What you say once in innocence may come back to haunt you. This lesson was learned the hard way for one Bollywood newcomer. Mahira Khan, co-star with Shah Rukh Khan in an upcoming Bollywood film, has been heavily criticized on Twitter for some comments she made five years ago. A clip surfaced showing Ms. Khan say that Pakistani artists should not be inspired by the Indian film industry because, quote, we are not Bollywood. Will this affect the success of her upcoming film? We will have to wait and find out. Meryl Streep's Golden Globe Award acceptance speech has had everyone talking, and this question has risen. Would this kind of use of an artistic platform to address political views be used in Bollywood? Most think not. There has been a lot of political unrest in India, and last year this directly affected Bollywood. However, no one publicly speaks out in the fear of their film being banned. In most cases, an actor or actress will avoid making any direct comment when addressing a political or controversial issue. They do this to avoid their films being negatively impacted, as last year any political statements made resulted in potential bans of the artist's films. This goes to show freedom of speech is a real thing in the USA. One of our Bollywood favorites has an imminent court date facing him, and it's regarding a charge that has followed him two decades. What will the verdict be? We will find out later this month. Salman Khan had a case against him in 1998 for using arms with an expired license. He was filming Hum Saath Saathe at the time in Jodhpur and has since spent time in jail for poaching charges. The verdict on the case from 1998 will be heard on January 18th. We wish the best for Salman and hope this gets settled justly. 
those were all the juicy stories from Bollywood this week. Join us again next week for more Bollywood updates.